Neanderthals were first found in Germany and then later in France. And, and when you talk about uh, Neanderthals, this, this is the creature most people talk about when they talk about cave man. And I would add cave woman. And I think you'll agree if there's no cave women, there's going to be no cave men. Now, in looking at Neanderthals, Evolutionists want you to believe that these are pre-human, subhuman, not human. But we know today that they are absolutely 100% human. Over 400 Neanderthal remains have been found, or at least partial, if not complete, uh, since 1856 when they're first found in Germany. But here's a map showing where Neanderthal remains have been found. Of course, first in Germany, then in France, but also in Portugal and Spain, Italy all the way across and around the Mediterranean to northern Israel. We have found Neanderthal remains near Tel Dan in northern Israel. But more recently, remains of Neanderthals have been found all the way out into central Siberia. And so today we now know that Neanderthals range from Portugal and Spain, the Atlantic coast with France, all the way to Israel and all the way into central Siberia in Russia. And I think it is a little hard to actually believe that Neanderthals were pre-human, subhuman. Because we now know by measurements, the average Neanderthal brain was 13% larger than the average human brain today. They had 13% more brain than we do. I think that's a little hard to think that they were primitive. In addition to which, recent genetic studies have proven Neanderthal genetics is 99.7 to 100% the same as human DNA. They are 100% human. And today you can go and you can study Neanderthal culture. They had language, art, music. They were not just hunter-gatherers. New evidence has shown that they were also farmers. Uh, they were religious. They buried their dead in religious graves with religious artifacts. They were exactly human.